There you go, my love. There you go. Like Brody. any mother, Lori Saint wants hey. nothing but the best for her son Brody, and that includes what she feeds him. He is a very good eater, and he eats everything that is put in his mouth. He has just been so healthy this entire time, and he's gotten so chubby. Breast milk is what Lori wanted to give Brody, but he's adopted. And when she couldn't produce her own milk, she reached out for help. We've got fresh milk. <laughs> My sister-in-law calls me the breast milk broker. Vanessa Lose has today's special delivery. She started a milk share group this year after her youngest child was born premature. Being in the NICU, I'd hear other moms around me crying because, you know, they can't produce milk, and I would feel, I felt so awful, and I thought, someone's got to be willing to take all of this milk because at that point I had over 600 ounces. Vanessa started a Facebook page, and one by one, moms joined. I've got the stroller, I've got my cooler. We meet in a like a church parking lot or just someplace, and she, and I don't know them, never met them, and I say, okay, I've got the white pilot in it, and I've got this, and we drive. It just feels like a drug deal, <laughs> you know. But I just kind of think that's funny. I, I drive away laughing with my little brown bag of breast milk. A lot of doctors frown on milk sharing. Drugs and some viruses, including HIV, can pass through breast milk. But these moms say they're not worried about that. I always ask my donor moms that I meet that, hey, you know, would you be willing, if the mom is willing to, you know, pay to have you screened, will you be screened? They still believe breast milk, no matter where it comes from, is best. Throughout the ages they had, you know, wet nurses, and so I just look at that and I just say, you know, we can share this. It's, it's you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing.